Hey, I'm Ron Daler from Mastodon. You're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and these are our top 30 albums for 2023. Lots of great music this year. We're just going to go through the list pretty quick. I'll stop on a couple just uh, maybe to add some notes. Number 30, we have the band Withering Scorn with Prophets of Demise. Number 29, Mystic Prophecy, Hell Riot. Number 28 was The Amity Affliction, Not Without My Ghosts. At number 27, we had The Ocean with Holocene. Number 26, the band Vendetta, Black as Coal, a good German thrash metal band. Good L thrash album, check that out. Number 25 was Unearth, The Wretched, The Ruinous. Number 24 was KK's Priest, The Sinner Rides Again, featuring KK Downing from Priest and Tim Ripper Owens on vocals. Another great album. It's their second. Number 23 was Stained Confessions of the Fallen. Number 22, and uh, it's, it was Avenged Sevenfold, Life is But a Dream. I'm not a huge Avenged Sevenfold fan, but I just thought this album was very interesting to listen to. Really really kept, uh, you know, a lot of people sort of really liked this album or didn't. I thought it was kind of experimental for the band. Very interesting song structures and lyrics, but I kind of enjoyed it. Number 21 was Paramaze, Bloodlines. Number 20 was Avatar, Dance, Devil, Dance. Number 19 was Ne Oblivascaris, Exile. What a great proggy album that is. Super heavy. Number 18 was Nervosa, Jailbreak. Man, can these guys uh, put out some heavy stuff. Great album, all-girl band, and they just smash it. Number 17 was Spirit Adrift, Ghost at the Gallows. Number 16 was Sleep Token, Take Me Back to Eden. Pretty interesting album, lots of diverse stuff on that. Number 15 was a band called DGM, and the album was called Life. And DGM is Diego, Gianfranco, and Maurizio. It's a prog band with Mark Basile on vocals. If you like Dream Theater, check it out. Super cool stuff. Uh, very great musicians and very proggy stuff. Number 14 was Baroness Stone. Number 13 was Drain, Living Proof. Man, I love the I love the feel of Drain. Great guitar. It's almost like uh, just sometimes I feel some Slayer guitar riffs inside of Drain. Number 12 was Cattle Decapitation, Terracite. Number 11 was a band called Syra, C-Y-H-R-A, The Vertigo Trigger. And this band is a Swedish metal band. Some call it a super group. It was formed in 2017. And the band has Jake E. Lundberg, X Amaranth, on vocals. Uh, they have Jesper Stromblad, X and Flames on guitar. And uh, Alex Landenberg from Camelot, X Annihilator on drums. And just more. And it, what a great album that is. So check that one out. Number 10 was Overkill Scorched. These guys are still as heavy as ever. Great thrash band from the 80s. Check it out. Number 9, Tesseract War of Being. Love these guys. Just saw them in concert and they can just replicate their stuff live and great musicianship and vocals on that. Number 8 was an early release this year was Delane Dark Waters. So many hits on this with Diana Leah on lead vocals for her first full album with the band. And I think what a great job. Number seven, Metallica, 72 Seasons. Good solid album from Metallica. Uh, they put out one of their best in a while, I think. So really enjoyed the new Metallica. Number six was King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Petro Dragonic Apocalypse. Super cool album. Super heavy for the band. They just put out one of their heaviest albums and just loved it. Number number five was Sorcerer, Reign of the Reaper. Some good Black Sabbathy doom metal for you there. If you haven't checked out Sorcerer, just love that band. Check it out. Number four was Catatonia, Sky Void of Stars. Super cool. This band has such an aura about them, and I love their vocals and their song structures and just the way they put their albums together. Really great. Number three is a band called Soen, and the album was Memorial. And this band features ex-Opeth drummer Martin Lopez, and it is a mix of Tool and Opeth sound. Just love it. They put out three albums now, I believe they have, and it's all of them super solid. So check out Soen if you haven't uh, heard them, S-O-E-N. 
Number two was Camelot, The Awakening, uh, one of the most underrated guitarists, Thomas Youngblood, on this in this band, vocalist Tommy uh, Karavik, and he is just an amazing vocalist. The Great Divide, uh, the songs The Great Divide, Evertide, One More Flag in the Ground, Opus of the Night, all just super bangers. Check it out. And the number one album we had this year with so many crazy songs all put together and what a solid album and welcome back to in flames foregone state of slow decay meet your maker bleeding out foregone part one foregone part two pure light of mind in the dark all amazing bangers this album you put this one on and uh it just keeps going and going hit after hit so Congratulations to In Flames for making our number one list this year in 2023. This is Ron from YouTube's Rocket Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.